11. So, as you know, Macbeth is part of your literature exam. This and school in Barking is in one of the London boroughs where the government now plans to test all secondary school pupils. With cases rising among 11 to 18 year olds, it's hoped mass testing will drive down infections and it's being welcomed here. Yes. Testing actually proves that there, there are more cases than what we think there is and so it could save a lot of people from death. If it's for the betterment of our country, then I think, as people who live in Britain, I think it's our duty to take the test. Anxious at first when I was told that we'd be tested, but I think it's quite a good idea because it will be helpful to know who has um, COVID and who doesn't to sort of keep as many people as possible in school. Pupils across seven London boroughs and parts of Kent and Essex will now be offered the tests which should make it easier to identify even those without symptoms. When we get a positive case, we have to send a large group of pupils home just to be safe, whereas if we can get quick testing for them, then we can only send the pupils at home that are definitely at risk. The infection rate in England is now around 156 cases per 100,000 people. In London, which is in Tier 2, that figure has now risen to 198, while Greater Manchester, which is in Tier 3, as an average of 158 cases per 100,000, leading to accusations of favouritism. It does look awfully like, you know, the government's sort of trying to do everything it possibly can to avoid London doing things that it's made other, um, other parts of the country do. But of course, you know, the reason why you go into tier three is not for the hell of it. It's because, you know, you've got an infection rate that's basically out of control. In Wales, schools are closing from today with work moving online. And while schools may be staying open in England, there is still a question mark over which areas could be moved into Tier 3 next week. Leila Hayes, 5 News.